Hello and welcome along to video two of our um, May auction here at Ramco. Uh, I'm Ben uh, from the sales team and this video will cover lots 701 all the way through to uh, lot 1400. Got mixed items in this part of the video. Um, we've got miscellaneous items, we've got uh, some commercial catering and also some gym equipment as well a little bit later on into the video. So we'll start off at lot 701 here. So in these boxes we have a chrome counter mount single tap beer dispensers, also got drip trays um, and also the chrome tap handles. I've got one out here so you can see what we've got there. So here we've got uh, 26 boxes of those. If you're interested in those at lot 701 um, but don't want such a big quantity we have got smaller quantities that will be featured a little bit later in the video so as we move on we featured these regularly in our auctions got uh, lot 702 703 and 704 got the foam uh, tool trays in those boxes and then in these two lots here 705 706 we have some ex-library books there's political books in there and military history you're looking around 350 to 400 books in each uh, separate lot there and we've got some cooper filters at 707 and here we have uh, boxes of um, the safety goggles featured in the first video some smaller quantities of these well here we've got um, 12 boxes there's 150 pairs of goggles per box and then at 709 here we have a snap-on CE 1650 litre single phase compressor three horsepower on that one so we've got some lab equipment as well uh, featured in this part of the video uh, in part two As you'll see through this section, we've got some lab equipment as well. So just beyond uh, lot 714 there, the stacker trolley. At 715 we've got the Thermo Scientific ICAP 7400 ICP, which stands for Inductively Coupled Plasma. This is a spectrometer. Got some test liquids included as well. Just please bear in mind that some of those have expired. And then next to this it's 7.16 we have the uh, Gallon Camp Economy Incubator and then next to this we have the Heratus Instruments um, BB6220 CO2 Incubator and we have a Lab Care Aura 250E Fume Cabinet so as you can see we've got an array of lab equipment here got your gen lab cooled incubator there and a June air compressor and we featured some machine tools in the, f uh, the latter parts of the the first video we've got some more here you've got your record power drill master bandsaw here this is the DMB 65 and then just next to it here we've got the star right bandit 12s 10 bandsaw so all the technical specifications for these items should you be interested at lot 723 and 724 they're all on the lot listings themselves and then we have a Karcher BDP 55 floor scrubbing machine there so as you can see just in this first part of the video plenty of uh, different types of items got some air conditioning unit there we featured this already but this is lot 10 it's in our first video okay so if you're interested in lot 10 we do have a description of that one. So it's got a few more catering bits here that we added. 
just after the catering items in video one. I'll do sporadic lot checks throughout the video just so you can see exactly where we are. And just bear the noise in the background. We've got to work in operation here at Rumco. So it's 738 here. We've got to a Falcon um, gas burner, a six gas burner, oven range there. This is the G2101. You can see natural gas on that one. So we featured some of this janitorial equipment in the first video as well. If you miss out on that, we have some more from lot 748 all the way down here to lot 758. Okay, so as we come around here, we've got a lot of boxed items that I'll, I'll talk you through. So here at lot 762 uh, and 763, we have sheets of um, turf and fibre board. Again, if you're interested in those lots, it all, is all pictured there. And we've got some more of the Covey shield visors. Get okay, four pallets worth there. In the, we've got 21 boxes there. There's 70 visors per box. And some more of the Cooper filters as well, which we featured in smaller quantities. Pallets worth of disposable seat covers at 768 and 769 there. And in these lots here, you've got um, some medical uh, gowns, the CPE aprons, and they have sleeves as well. And at 771 we have more of the COVID visors and then we've got in these boxes here there's, uh, various types of sheet music and at 774 here all the way through to lot 777 we've got some packaging sets so each contain one roll of tape and 10 cardboard boxes again the sizes of those are in the lot listing should you be interested in those and then 778 we have more of the the aprons just in that box there as we pop round this is our sort of packaging area where we pack our parcels here at Ramco and all these are ready for dispatch on this pallet and some of the packing materials okay so if we look down this aisle here I'll just give you a little glimpse this is some of our commercial gym equipment have some a little bit later on as well and um, more along the lines of cross trainers and bits and bobs like that um, but this is a little bit of a miscellaneous range of goods as you can see lot check there at 779 we have the, um, the body max barbells different weights there colored barbells Plenty of weight benches in this month as well. The popular Concept 2 rowers. Have some of those a little bit later as well. Weight bags again, we saw some of those earlier in the video um, near the beginning of the lots on video one. So, I have more there as well. So, as you can see, we've got your popular brands Jordan and uh, Life Fitness and your Watt bikes and things like that. So, got some really good commercial grade gym equipment here. 
You've got the fluid trainers here, cubo trainers. And then here we've got hammer strength um, equipment as well. So we've got the A A A A we've got the lateral row machine here. And if you're interested in any of this equipment, you're looking at the late 700s into the early 800s here. And again, keep an eye on the lot listing end times. Um, because if there's a bid placed in the last five minutes, it does add five minutes onto the, the lot listing itself. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a lot of in style aero spin bikes. These are the V900s. We've got varying quantities. So as we went past the first bundle there, they're in singles, and then we go in doubles. And then there's two lots of four, I believe, as well. Yeah, so four four singles at 818. And then you've got two lots of two lots at 822 and 823. And then you've got two lots of four lots as well, just on the end here, at 824 and 825. Okay, so now we'll move on to the smaller section, uh, or smaller item section of the auction, um, which is on our trolley section just at the other end of the hall. So a quick lock check. A lot 826. So we featured some of these in the first video as well. These are the um, the Norwegian food containers here. And then beyond that, um, we have got a lot of individual lots and grouped up lots of uh, thermal carry bags. So they run from 827 through to 834 up here. Okay, so as you see there at 838 we had some computers, just bear in mind with any computers that we do sell, we don't have any hard drives in them, we do list that uh, as no hard drives. So we've got some uh, Grunfost um, pump units here, um, we did have some featured in the first video, so there is some more here, at lot 841 through to 843, so if you missed out on those first ones, at least you can see we have more. And after these axle stands, we have some more of them again. Okay, so if you missed out on those earlier lots, you're looking around the 840 region where there is some more. And as I stated in the first video as well, if you've got any queries on shipping on any of the items that you see in this video, um, certainly that can help influence your bids. And please get in touch um, they're competitive prices and we're literally just passing on the price from our haulier a little bit to cover materials but nothing in terms of you know we try and keep the prices as fair and competitive as we possibly can and when we have orders come through so if you win lots two but then you also win you know lot 562 and we'll consolidate orders together, pack the best we can and distribute over parcels or onto as many pallets as we can or as little pallets as we can. Get a competitive price for you. But if you're unsure, please get in touch. I mean these sort of items you're looking at at the moment are typical parcel items as I'm sure you're aware. Got some curio items here. So apologies for the noise in the background, it's the busiest part in the building just behind me where we process all the incoming stock into stock. 
as you can see there we showed you a couple of fluke oscilloscopes they have been a regular feature in our auctions uh, certainly for the last or for this year um, maybe into last year as well to be fair we've got the fluke pm 3082s the oscilloscopes some with bags some without if you are interested in those just keep an eye on those lots eight nine six through as we come through these shelves put some electronics in as you can see here We've got some power supplies and tooling so yeah behind me um, is the area where we process all the stock that comes in get it all processed give it a stock number and then it's ready to be laid out in the auction here so at uh, lot 910 here we've got the uh, Roden Schwartz um, Scholar Network Analyzer this is the ZAS model and then more of the oscilloscopes from Fluke Yep, so we've got lots of things incoming and uh, a bit of a holding area in there and that's sort of where we take items from and lay out in the auction like what you see in front of you now. So it's always a little bit of a noisy area because there's always incomings and outgoings and once this auction finishes this will be the noisiest area in the building because so we have the guys in the warehouse that will situate themselves in corners of the warehouse here and pick and pack the orders where we sit and then once they're all packed quoted for shipping from ourselves in the sales team we'll then dispatch and then the whole process happens again which is great as you can see there's lots of varied items here So it never gets boring, it's always interesting here, always. And I get a bit excited when we have the uh, musical instruments in because that's my thing. Especially drums. If there's some drums, I'm, I'm always there. And I'm getting questions, what, what are these, Ben? What are these? And yeah, always really interesting to, to see what we have coming through the doors here. And you're always learning as well, definitely. Okay, so these, are, as I said earlier, these are the, the, the typical items we can send via parcel force. So these are the sort of items, you know, we'll, we'll get them picked and packed the best we possibly can. In, uh, in as little consignment as we can to keep the cost down for yourselves. But as I said, if you're unsure, and please do get in touch and we can do our best to assist okay so we've got some pottery items here um, got 957 there I'll just uh, there's one behind as well we've got some decorative plates and decanters I think if I can open this just behind not sure if I can there we go we're in another decorative plate there as well and various books So once we've finished in this hall, we'll go through to uh, what we call Hall 1 um, in Romco. That's our warehouse hall where we have some of the bigger items as well, but we also have some shelving trolleys too, uh, right near the end. And then that will take us into video 3 where we um, cover the outside part of the auction. 
So if you're interested in sort of larger items, we've got some containers out there. Um, got some stainless steel um, kitchen furniture. Um, we have a a cabin, like an office cabin building as well uh, out there. But as you've already seen, if you've tuned into video one, we've got a top ten where we have some vehicles in there. Um, yeah, lots of various different items. So again, you can watch these videos at your leisure just to get another dimension on the the goods that you see in front of you. So if you watched our first video, you would have seen these, the Makita um, chainsaw bodies. So into the lot 1000 region now. These are the Makita DCS 5030 chainsaw bodies, petrol chainsaw and there was some featured earlier in the first video and I did say we've, we've got more and we have got plenty of these in this month and then we've got the grease pump tops again if you've been watching and been bidding on our auctions for the last few months we've had plenty of these as well we have got some more this month as well, in case you missed out on any last month, as well as the fluke oscilloscopes as well. So we're fast approaching, coming out of Hall 1, oh. on the final two trolleys of this half of the aisle. We'll just come around this side, we have more of the oscilloscopes as well. So. There's plenty of those. And we're looking around the 1035 mark here, down to 1041. And this is the final part of the aisle here for hall two, where we started. So we've got some art here, wall art at 10.53. And then in these boxes here at uh, 10.54 through to 10.56 we've got some Marksman paintbrush sets. canvas there the wooden frame got some interlocking closure tools there at lot 1060 got some aviation tools as we come through these lots here Ten sixty-eight and ten sixty-nine. Uh, you see here we've got the Tritec Phase Two Compact Fusion Splicer kits. We've got another kit there in the bag for lot to uh, ten seventy. We've got some hose re ho hose reel covers. I put my teeth into to say those, and then. If we look at the um, splicer kits that we just looked at, we have some more of those in these cases as we come along here. Lots 1073, and then as we come through down to 1080. So there's plenty of those in as well this month. Some more of the lab equipment we were talking about as we come through. Heating mantles, the thermal dryers there.
some large style chopping boards there. And then we've got the Freiker KP283 refrigerated plate at 1090. Some optical head assemblies here, lot ten nine four. feature in our auctions the past few months we've got various size socket heads from lot 1101 down to 1105 uh, 1104 sorry got a few more a little bit later as well as some ring spanners here spanners there. So a quick lock check as we come round to this tuber we've got here. We're at lock 1118. So special pieces here we've got the Besson 700 tuber in the case there and then as we go down here through to uh, 1119 and 1120 we have the Besson Sovereign tubers in the cases here, and then we've got a Besson 700 E flat uh, tuber here at lot 1121. So, again, if you're interested in these musical instruments, we do have some more um, earlier on in the auction um, in the video one, but we've got extensive pictures of all the musical instruments we've got featured this month. If you are interested in those sort of items, we have had music in musical instrument specific auctions as well as catering, gym equipment in the past. And we do have auctions that cater to certain items. So should you be interested, if you go to ramco.co.uk, you can sign up to our mailing list on there and any auctions that we, um, that we have that are going live or currently live and anything Ramco really uh, videos and you know these tours that we're doing now you know you get emails with direct links to those so that you can see exactly what's going on at Ramco and see if you can get yourself any surplus equipment or anything like that that will be of use to you So more of the thermal carrying bags that uh, when we started this aisle, there's some more there at 11.40 to 11.42 and 11.46 through to 11.48 and then a little bit later we have some more as well and in these boxes here we have some coveralls so they're um, safeguard coveralls as you can see we have plenty of those in through the lots here as we go down as you can see more of the thermal carrying bags and then some more of the uh, coveralls as well different sizes on these lots so check out there we've got some extra large some small and some medium so if, you, if you're interested in those items then certainly take a look at the lots and see which of the sizes then we have some of the uh, AOC monitors, the 23 inch monitors, we've got plenty of those in as well this month. Quantities of two from 11.75 to 11.76 and at 77 we've got a quantity of four and then as you can see there 11.78 quantity of three and then 
where we started on this video the um, the beer taps if you like got smaller quantities quantities of them here we've got plenty so we're starting at 11.79 and then we go all the way through here down these shelves here and then over here to lot 11.94 so if you're wanting some smaller quantities of those rather than a pallet's worth or if you want to get all of them this is just an example here of those that we've got as we finish off hall one here and um, these two boxes we've got the electrical mounting kits for quad bikes uh, we've featured those regularly over the last year uh, or more and then we've got some uh, which we will see some more of these later as well uh, that will be in video 3 we've got some power supply DC converters in there as well and then some more of the, the mounting kits for the quad bikes so fast approaching through this video um, into the 1200s now and again these have been regularly featured in the auctions we've got the fluke multimeters these are the 87 VEX true RMS multimeters so again we've got plenty of quantities of those to go through in the auction this month so before we finish on the trolley with these printers here that is the end of hall 2 so we'll now pop into hall 1 where we'll look at some catering and some more miscellaneous items okay so we featured these items in the first video but also we had some last month as well a quick lock check at 12.15 here got the Rosone um, mobile brake bleeders as you can see various uh, varying conditions so these are the Rosone sustainable solutions Romez mobile brake bleeders that's just to start off all one here and then as we look down here we'll go past our lot nine again which featured in video one our rationale self cooking center there well, next to that at lot 1222 we have another one As you can see we've got the tray stand underneath as well. So as I explained in the first video um, when it came to shipping on any of these items, as you can see they are pallet based items but again we try and consolidate things the best we can um, onto the pallets. So before placing a bid, if you're unsure, thinking, oh, I'm not really sure what to bid on these items because of the shipping charges, and we do have a, a set price for pallets and things like that. So things that are a little bit oversized, and what we mean by oversized is if they are longer than a standard pallet, or if they are tall, um, uh, 2.2 meters is the, the height limit. If it's succeeds those sort of measurements we we get a special price from the haulier to keep the cost down because it uh, it all depends on what sort of vehicle it can it can go in so we'll get that special price and then we'll get back to you before placing your bids so you can bid accordingly then yeah, we featured one of these in the first video um, the Merry Chef icon turbo ovens this is a lot 1245 this is the e3 model unit on its side here 1251 another rationale self cooking station and 
Then we've got a Gagia D90 Evolution Espresso Machine. And that's at lot 1252. So if you missed out on any catering items at the beginning of the auction in the sort of late 400s, then we do have some more catering equipment as you can see in this section of the auction. Uh, 1265 little blue seal double deck pizza oven here this is the DM4 model the Hobart pass through dishwasher this is the M AMS 900 Refrigeration pieces in this part of the auction. So, a quick lot check here as we come to this blue seal unit. We're at lot 1279, and this is the blue seal natural gas char grill with a leg stand there. As you can see, there just behind, before we finish this video, there is some more commercial gym equipment as well and then at 1282 here we have the uh, portable water heater as you can see quite a tall unit there got a heating oil container with that as well We started in hall two. We had some disposable seat covers. We have some more here at lot 1286 and 1287. And then in these containers here, we have a fog generator. We've got the Swing Fog SN50 PE fog generator at 288. And then in here, fog generator. This is type 7 fog generator here in the crate and then 1290 inside that uh, case there we have um, a Draper ultimate portable folding projector screen which is extensively pictured should you be interested in that a lot at 1290 and the various shipping containers as well as you'll see throughout the auction all varying sizes and shapes so we had some lab equipment earlier we've got some of the bigger pieces we've got in the auction this month so we'll go through those now Okay, so here at lot, so you know where we are, 1296. We have the Next Gen Science Expression PCR workstation. Stretch back if I can. 1298. We have the Tican Genesis RSP 150 liquid handler. And then just 
next to this we have the Griffoles Tritanirus Elisa Analyzer. We've got software with that as well. I think it's Tritorus, I think I'm pronouncing that right, apologies. And then we've got the vapor condenser here. And then this unit here at 1303 is the Lancer 1600 UP lab glass washer. It's got the racks in there as well. Some more Nederman equipment here with a portable extractor unit. This is the Nederman 663 unit. And a regular feature in our auctions we've got the tent heaters. These are the model. Models uh, G H S threes, and we've got them all pictured with the contents there. Should you be interested in those? And we've got the record power DX four thousand dust extractor there, and then as featured. In previous auctions we've got some water pump filtration parts in there at lot 1315 and just here if I step back a little got the pennant trainers and simulators units here we featured a couple of these in previous auctions we've got some more as you can see here okay, so as we come round into the wider aisle part we've got some larger items down as we come along um, in 1320 here and 1323 individual lots here we've got duct work kits they include a plastic 14 inch pipe duct splitter junction with some flexible hose and big old crates there More light fittings and we come across to some of our um, some more commercial gym equipment here we've got the Techno Gym uh, pectoral gym exercise machine this is the 2SC model. And then as we come around here, we've got various barbells. And then some farmers walk carrying frames. Got three individual lots there at 1337 through to 39. And we've got some cross trainers in again in this month's auction. First one there is the Technogymic Site cross trainer. And we've got Pulse Fitness ones as well. Got some X Train 280G FX trainers. Let's show you around so you can see the modules as well. And the Techno Gym Excite stepper machines as well. There's plenty of uh, gym equipment to go out this month. We've got a disassembled unit here. This is the um, Life Fitness CMDAP dual adjustable pulley weight trainer machine. This is really as spares. It's damaged to one side and there is no fixings for that. So it could come in handy for spares in a gym setting there. And then as we come down got the Marpo uh, rope trainer this is the VLT rope trainer model and we're a little bit narrow as we come down here so bear with me so we've got some Techno Gym cross trainers again and then also we've got the hand bikes 
as we come down as well. You know, so we're looking here from lot 1351 onwards here. And then we have an array of Techno Gym exercise bikes from 1356 here. I'll just show you inside. 1356. So these are the Techno Gym X Site 700 exercise bikes. As you can see, we have plenty of those in this month as well. And then here from 1364 through to 69, we have the Kesa M3 spin bikes. So we've got a few more of those a little bit later in the auction just in case you miss out on those uh, but we'll get to those when, when we see them okay so here at lot 1372 sorry we have the Technogym PG10 Olympic half rack exercise machine there so as you can see obviously it's disassembled let me show you the parts that are included there and then just behind it we have a, another one of the Marpo rope trainers this one is the seated version this is the VMX seated rope trainer as you can see a colossal unit that is that's at lot 1373 and then in these boxes here we've got some uh, defrost heater evaporators and a glass exterior assembly and here we have some spares glass doors refrigeration units at 1379 we have six rolls of lay flat polythene tubing and then we have the Blakely units here these are the L A P D S sockets. The model number is FEP LAP and 6 watt GIUs. Then we've got some gym mat trolleys here. And then at lot 1385, this is the Vapor Mat Turbo Spray 3 solvent cleaning machine. So we're fast approaching the end of this video now as we come to the light fittings here at 1387. There's some roller sections here and some medical boards. Some catering spares in these long span stillages here. So we're looking at um, some evaporator units, some glass doors for some refrigeration units as well. So again, if you're interested in any spare equipment, if you look at the late 1300s into the 1390s, and we'll end the video here on we've got lot 1399. 1400 and in these cases here we've got the PCI nitrogen silage filling systems as you can see they're cased just over 2.2 uh, meters long these cases are so quite hefty units um, these have been a regular feature in our auctions these past few months so we've got some more here as well which is great so thank you ever so much for joining in for video 2 we've covered up to lot 1400 now the final part of the video We'll cover lots 1401 all the way through to end, which is lot 2047. Thank you ever so much, and we'll see you in the next video.